Let's do another ratio problem that's a bit of a classic. So let's say that I start off with a certain number of fruit. So I have some number of fruit, but I'll get back to that in a second. But we know that the ratio, we know that the ratio, we know that the ratio of apples, I'll do apples in this reddish color. The ratio of apples to oranges, to oranges, those colors are very similar. Let's say it is equal to, let's say it is equal to 5 to 8. So it's equal to 5 to 8. 5 to 8, or I could also write it as 5 to 8, just like that. That's the ratio of apples to oranges. Now the next thing that I know about this problem is that when I take away 15, when I take away 15 apples, so take away, take away 15, 15 apples, and the ratio, the ratio becomes, the ratio becomes one to four. The ratio of apples to oranges becomes one to four. How many apples, how, let me write it this way, how many total, how many total, not how many apples, how many, how much, or let me say, how much total fruit, instead of how many fruit, how much total fruit do I have, I have, after taking away, taking away, the 15 apples, the 15 apples. How much total fruit do I have? So let's do a little bit of algebra. Let's say that x, let's say that x is the number, x is equal to the number of fruit that we start with, that we start with, start with. How much fruit are we going to end up with at the end? We're taking away 15 apples. We're not doing anything to the oranges. So we know that x minus 30, I'll do that in a different color, x minus, oh, x minus 15. We take away 15 apples. x minus 15 is equal to the number of fruit we end up with, end up with. We know these two things are true. And now, we know that we start off with a ratio of 5 to 8. So we know that the ratio of apples to oranges is equal to 5 to 8 that we start off with. Or that's just another way of saying that for every group, assuming that we can divide our, 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 our group of fruit into even, where I could divide into a set of groups and every group has the same number of apples and oranges, that means that for every, for every, group of what 13 13 fruits 13 fruits there are 5 apples there are 5 apples 5 apples and 8 oranges and and 8 oranges that's what this tells me. For every group of 13 fruits, there are 5 apples and 8 oranges. And how many groups of 13 fruit are there? Well, I have x total fruit. So if I divide x divided by 13, if I take x divided by 13, that is equal to, this is the 13 right here. This is the 13. I have 13 fruits per group. I have x total fruit. So this is the total number of groups. So this is equal to the number of Groups. Now, for every group, I have five apples. So how many apples am I starting off with? This is the number of groups. For every group, I have five apples. So I am starting off with five times that apples. 5x over 13 apples. 5x over 13 apples. Now, for every one of these groups, I also have eight oranges. So how many oranges do I have? I have eight times that. Because for every one of these, I have 8 oranges. So 8 times that is 8x over 13 oranges. Fair enough. That's what I start off with. Now, when I'm done, we said that the ratio, the ratio of apples to oranges, the ratio of apples to oranges becomes 1 to 4. It becomes 1 to 4. Or that another way of saying that is that for every, 
for every five, right, if you add these two numbers together, for every five fruit, there are, there are one apple, one apple, and four oranges, and four oranges. Fair enough. So how many groups of five fruit do we have? Well, this is the total number of fruit we're left with after we took 15 away. So how many groups of five do we have? We take the total number of fruit, x minus 15, divided by how many fruit we have per group. And this is how many groups of, this is equal to the groups of five fruit, of five fruit. Now, for each of these groups, I'm going to have one apple and four oranges. So how many? Apples and oranges do I now have after I took away 15 of the apples? I took away 15 fruit. So let's think about this a little bit. How many apples am I going to have? I have one apple for every one of these groups. So that's how many a so the number of groups is the number of apples I have. So I'm going to have x minus 15 over 5 apples. And then how many oranges am I going to have? For every one of these groups, I'm going to have four oranges. So I'm going to have four times this many oranges. So we could write that as 4 over 5 times x minus 15 oranges. Oranges, right? That's just four times the number of groups of five fruit. Now, what doesn't change? I'm messing with the number of apples, but I never changed the number of oranges. So this number, which is the number of oranges we started off with, has to equal this number the number of oranges we ended up with. There's many ways to do this problem, but this is the way that's popping out at me that might be straightforward. So let's see if we can solve for x. This has to be equal to that. That never changed. So I you say 8x over 13 is equal to is equal to 4 fifths times x minus 15. And maybe the best way to do this, let's multiply both sides of the equation times 5 over 4. So times 5 over 4 times 5 over 4. These cancel out. That just becomes 1. What does this become? This becomes, you see, you get a 4 divided by 4. You get a 2 there. This becomes 10x over 13. 10x over 13, that's the left-hand side, is equal to x minus 15. Now let's subtract x from both sides, and we get 10 x over 13 minus x is equal to minus 15. Let me scroll down a little bit. And so what is this? This is the same thing as 10 x over 13 minus 13 x over 13, right? That's just x is equal to minus 15. And then 10 minus 13, this is equal to, so this is minus 3 x over 13 is equal to is equal to minus 15. Now, or we could just multiply both sides of this equation by minus 13 over 3. Multiply this side by minus 13 over 3. I pick that number so that this and that cancel out, and that and that cancel out, and the negatives cancel out. So I'm just left with x on that side. And then the right hand side becomes what? The negatives cancel out. I can divide the 15 and the 3 by 3, so that becomes a 5. And then this becomes a 1. And I'm just left with 5 times 13. This was just times plus 13. I wrote that there just to make sure you understood that the negatives canceled out. So 5 times 13 is what? 5 times 12 is 60, so x is equal to 65. But that is not our answer. Remember what x was. x was the number of fruit we started with. And we just figured out that this is equal to 65. But what the question asked, the question wanted to know is, how much total fruit do I have after taking away the 15 apples? So the question wants to know how many after taking the 15 apples. If I started with 65, I give away 15 of the fruit, all of them are apples, then I'm left with 65 minus 15, which is equal to 50 apples. Oh, not 50 pieces of fruit. 50 pieces of fruit. That's what they're asking for. 50 pieces of fruit. If you want, you can go on and figure out how many apples you started with, you finished with, the number of oranges, or whatever else. But this is what they were asking. How much total fruit, not the number of apples, total fruit do I have after taking away the 15 apples?